What's up guys, Aaron here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the OtterBox Defender Series case on the Apple iPad Air 2. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. First pop off the included shield stand. Next grab yourself a card that's thin yet strong enough to slide in between the shock absorbing silicone and the polycarbonate shell. Next make your way around the entire case, making sure that the shock absorbing silicone is properly removed from the polycarbonate shell, including all ports. Although this is a very well-built and rugged case, I still recommend taking caution when removing the shock absorbing silicone, and especially when it comes to the port covers. Now that we've made our way around the entire case, your case should look something like this. The next step is to separate the two pieces of polycarbonate shell, which are the front and back of the case. And to do so, you can use tools such as a coin, a guitar pick, a screwdriver, or a butter knife. Located on the exterior of the polycarbonate shell are 12 arrows, it helps show you exactly where to pop off the case. Again, you can use any of the previously mentioned tools to help separate the case. However, I've found that my fingernail works just fine. Now that we've separated the front from the back panel, let's go ahead and install our iPad Air 2, beginning by placing it in the back portion of the case. Now before installing the front portion of the case, which houses the built-in screen protector, I highly recommend grabbing a microfiber cleaning cloth and cleaning off all dust and debris. Now grab the front portion of the case and snap it together with the rear portion of the case, completely enclosing the iPad Air 2. Now it's extremely crucial that you make sure that it's properly snapped together or you're going to extremely inhibit the touch sensitivity of the screen as well as Touch ID. Now that we have our iPad Air 2 fully enclosed in the polycarbonate shell, we're going to go ahead and reinstall the shock absorbing silicone. I recommend placing the iPad Air 2 into the shock absorbing silicone towards the top first and then make your way around the case gently massaging the shock absorbing silicone into the edge that's provided by the polycarbonate shell. After you've made your way completely around the case, make sure to pay close attention that the port covers are properly inserted as well. Taking a closer look at the back of the case, we have two cutouts. One's going to be for our camera and one's for our Apple logo, which the Apple logo is protected by a screen protector. And lastly is the included shield stand, which offers up two specific angles. One's going to be perfect for typing, which you can see here and the other position is going to be perfect for multimedia consumption. And the second function of this shield stand is that it acts as a shield for your screen and acts as a secondary screen protector. This shield stand is a very nice addition for someone who might want to throw the iPad Air 2 into their backpack or purse. And that's it. Now you've installed the OtterBox Defender Series case on the Apple iPad Air 2. Now I'll be bringing you a full review of this case and covering some specific features that I'm sure you're interested in, such as does the Touch ID fingerprint scanner still work, and does the built-in screen protector in any way inhibit the touch sensitivity of the screen? Now if there's any other questions that you would like for me to answer in the full review of this OtterBox Defender Series case for the iPad Air 2, let me know down in the comments section below. I have several different videos in mind for this case, including a two-story drop test. If you're interested in seeing that particular drop test video, let me know by leaving a thumbs up down below and also leaving a comment down in the comment section. If you have any particular videos in mind that you would like to see covered here on the channel pertaining to the OtterBox Defender Series case for the Apple iPad Air 2, let me know down in the comment section. If this video helped you out in any way, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't hesitate to share it on your social networks. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for me on this one. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, now's a great time to hit that subscribe button and you will be notified in your inbox every time I upload a new video. If you enjoyed this content, let me know by hitting that thumbs up button down below and leaving a comment down in the comment section. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you guys for watching. As I mentioned earlier, my name is Aaron and I'll see you guys on the next one.